On an all-new list, we unwrap the secrets of great barbecue sandwiches. The bread makes all of the difference. Absolutely. Plus, let an Olympic gold medalist teach you how to be a better runner. It's up to you to discover how far the journey of running is going to take you. But first, how to lose weight by sleeping. Your diet will work significantly better. It's your life, it's your list, and it starts right now. Hey everyone, I'm Christina Guerrero. And I'm Jimmy Rhodes. Now, over the past several decades, the amount of time Americans sleep has steadily decreased. And to make matters worse, so has the quality of that sleep. Yes, yeah, sure, we know what it's like to feel tired, but not getting enough sleep can also have a huge impact on your mood, energy levels, and ability to focus. Calculating the high price of bad sleep is our featured story at the top of the list. Many of us don't think of sleep as an activity, but... Sleep affects every organ system and every disease state. Literally everything you do, you do better with a good night's sleep. Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, has three important ways lack of sleep impacts you. For starters, it affects weight loss. Every single diet or eating recommendation that you hear, there should be a little caveat right next to it that says, only works if you sleep. When you're sleep deprived, four things happen. Number one, our cortisol rises because our brain doesn't know why we're still awake. So your brain tells you that you need food for energy. So it increases something called appetite. The second thing that happens is it says, hold on, I'm awake. I need to slow down the use of my resources. So this slows down your metabolism. Next come these two hormones called leptin and ghrelin. Ghrelin is the hormone that increases hunger by about 20%. Leptin is the hormone that makes you feel full. That reduces by 15%. So to help you with weight loss goals, have some consistent sleep and do that before you start dieting for one week. Your diet will work significantly better. Next, it affects your exercise. One of the things that we know about sleepiness and exercise is something called perceived exertion. How hard does it feel to do? The sleepier you are, the harder exercise feels. And when you're sleep deprived, you are likely to injure yourself. To improve exercise performance, Dr. Bruce says not to exercise at least four hours before bedtime. When we exercise, we raise our core body temperature. To fall asleep, we need our brains to release melatonin, the sleep hormone which can only happen if we cool down. But if our body heat is too high, it never falls, which means we don't get that melatonin trigger. Finally, sleep affects your mood. The more sleep deprived you are, the more anxious you're gonna be, the more depressed you're gonna be. When you look tired, when you look like you're in a bad mood, people will avoid you. And then you become isolated, which heightens this loneliness and heightens this mood problem. And if you're already suffering with a mental health issue, depression, anxiety, bipolar, any of those things, sleep is critical to your treatment because sleep is a natural mood regulator. To help, he says to keep a worry journal. All the things that you're thinking about while you're falling asleep go on one side, and then one start to a solution to that problem on the other side. If your child is struggling with school, book an appointment with their teacher. You've made some progress in an area that's worrying you. Fold the paper, close it, put it in a drawer. That is compartmentalized. Sleeping better to enjoy your waking life more is at the top of the list. They're entertaining, they're relevant. They may even teach you something that'll change your life. Masterclass is a collection of online courses taught by the world's greatest minds. And Jackie Denker picked a few faves from the summer lineup. I'm Roy Choi. I'm Joan Benoit Samuelson. I'm Ninja, and this is Masterclass. The Masterclass series showcases over 100 experts sharing their wisdom on just about anything you'd want to learn. I told you I'm not going to show you the Kogi Taco, but I'm actually showing you the Kogi Taco. They offer three price packages starting at 180 bucks a year and are always adding new experts and course concepts. To give you a sample, we're dipping our toes into three of our favorites. First up, Roy Choi teaches intuitive cooking. I'm a Korean American LA kid, an immigrant kid. He's one of the pioneers of the modern food truck movement. In this class, I'm gonna teach you how to make my mother's sauces. Kimchi, panchan, the kimchi tuna milk, carnitas, mung bean, potato, scallion pancakes. Mmm. 
Through 19 lessons, you'll learn how to cook with your instincts using the equipment you already have in your kitchen, all while adding your own twist. I really believe in wiggle room. <laughs> I like to wiggle. Next, learn the runner's mindset with Joan Benoit Samuelson. This class is for runners, aspiring runners, and for people who just have a general interest in our sport. She is the winner of the first Women's Olympic Marathon in 1984. I'm going to talk about technique, stretching and strengthening exercises, and the importance of setting goals. Her class features nine lessons that also cover motivation, gear, and philosophy. It's up to you to discover how far the journey of running is going to take you. Finally, become a streaming icon like Ninja. I have cracked the code truly on how to build a community, engage with your audience, and make you the best possible streamer that you can be. He blasted his way onto the scene and built a big career by letting people watch him do what he does best, play video games. It's so much fun. You can bring so much joy to other people. And of course, obviously, if you do everything right, it can be very lucrative as well. It's a 30-day course where you will learn how to establish your stream, find your style, and build your brand and collaboration. If I can do this, anyone can do this. Here's to mastering the art of life with the latest masterclasses. Friends, this is the time of year we're awash in barbecue, so let's celebrate this amazing American classic every way possible. Get ready to get cracking on some absolutely mouth-watering barbecue sandwiches. It's the perfect time of year to fire up the barbecue. The weather's heating up, there's graduations coming up. It's a good time to get out, get in the pool, go to the lake, and smoke up some meats and start celebrating the month. We're filling our plate with three barbecue sandwich recipes with Matt Simpson, marketing manager of Dickie's Barbecue Pit. Starting off hot with the perfect combination, a spicy sausage and pepper sandwich. We got our toasted buns here that are nice and buttery, toasted, so got to start with good bread. And then we have our spicy cheddar sausage, which is just fantastic. So if you wanted to layer some of that on there, we can start with that. This sausage is stuffed with jalapenos and cheddar. There's a good amount of cheese in there, but we wanted to add a little bit more cheese. Yes. I mean, you can never have enough cheese. You can never have enough right. cheese. We're going to throw some cheddar cheese. Is that what we have here? Yep, cheddar okay. cheese. Top with some jalapenos and spicy barbecue sauce, and you've got a great combination. That is so fantastic, and you're right. The bread makes all of the difference. Absolutely. Our next sandwich is incorporating everyone's favorite side dish, mac and cheese, for the chopped brisket mac and cheese sandwich. Brisket and mac and cheese between two pieces of bread. Right. It doesn't get better than that. Start by adding your brisket to your toasted buttery bun. This is the good stuff right here. Oh, man. Very nice. A little sample. <laughs> Just quality control. You're good, you're good. From there, the mac and cheese. And top with a sweet barbecue sauce. Mm, so good! And lastly, we're ending with a classic, the pulled pork slaw sandwich. How are we going to make this sandwich? So this one, you're going to start off with our pulled pork. Okay. So we're going to get some of that on your bun. Yum. Do you mind if I add a little extra? I would say do extra. I okay. Mean, come on, let's, let's load this thing up. And then from there, we can add a little bit of coleslaw. Top with some cheddar cheese, pickles, and onion. Then to finish her off, we can do a little bit of original barbecue sauce. This is definitely not food for a beauty pageant. No, it's not. No, it's not. Do I have anything on my face? A little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that means it's good. We're keeping your tummies full with three barbecue sandwiches to celebrate National Barbecue Month. Coming up on the list, Buzz Lightyear, Elvis, and dinosaurs on the big screen. June is going to be a big month for blockbuster movies. And let TikTok sprout some new gardening ideas. This planting hack will help you grow more food in the same amount of space. Plus, the lasting legacy of Nintendo's Game Boy. I think it's mostly has to do with its simplicity. All that and more next. Welcome back. Okay, even at the age of 33, you can't say they're all grown up, but Game Boys have certainly shown signs of evolving. From DIY refurbishing kits to brand new games, Hattie Dijamal says the Game Boy of your childhood is looking sharp and ready for both old players 
and new. Introducing Game Boy. Retro gaming is big these days, especially when it comes to the world's first handheld, Nintendo's beloved Game Boy DMG. I think it's mostly has to do with its simplicity. I mean, it has just two action buttons, a D-pad and start and select. And also the games that came out for it are just really, really approachable. YouTuber and retro gaming enthusiast Tito Perez shows us three ways your old Game Boy can live forever starting with DIY upgrades or mods as they're known. There are so many mods to sort of bring it into the year 2022. We're starting out by giving our Game Boy a new appearance. Keep in mind that all of these mods are available for each Game Boy model. And there's just a huge array of colors for the shell. You can change the buttons. You simply unscrew the console. So go ahead and remove the three JIS screws as well as the LCD ribbon cable. And reassemble with the shiny new shell and buttons. This is a simple mod that makes a very large visual impact. Now it's time to level up our display with a no solder LCD kit. So you can get an IPS LCD screen that's backlit with vivid colors. No solder LCD kits are about 60 bucks, while a shell will set you back about $15. Next up is the Analog Pocket, a modern take on the Game Boy. All the modern amenities that you could want in a Game Boy is in this. Like a high-res screen, super fast processing, and the ability to play games from every Game Boy model. And also, there's a dock. You can put this in a dock, and you can play this with a wireless controller on your television. It's 219 bucks at analog.co. We'll wrap up with Game Boy backup devices, a wise thing to do if you have an aging video game collection. A lot of these cartridges rely on what's called volatile memory. So they require a battery in order to retain your save data. And when that battery dies, your save data is gone. The cartridge reader works with almost all retro games, but it is expensive at $175. A less expensive option is the $50 Game Boy operator. It backs up all your games, plus... It also gives you a way to sort of play back those games, like on your computer, for example. We'll have links to all of the items, plus Tito's instructional videos on the listtv.com. Giving the gift of eternal life to our beloved Game Boys. It's the time of year nature is bursting into bloom. But the other thing that's growing, the popularity of the hashtag gardening on TikTok. We're talking 5 billion views. If you're looking to green things up, Teresa Strasser has three popular TikTok gardeners. Hey, Teresa. Thank you. With nearly 50 million likes combined, these TikTok gardeners are growing people's passion for planting. Coming in at number one, Epic Gardening. I used to be addicted to video games like Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon, so I bought a house and decided to do it in real life. Kevin Espiritu shares all sorts of gardening tips. This planting hack will help you grow more food in the same amount of space. And tricks. So let's brush away the mulch. Let's get it in there. Pop it out. Pop, pop, pop. And reveal the prize. He even shares lucrative things to grow in your garden. These weird alien bulbs grow the most expensive spice on earth. That saffron he's growing can go for over 100 bucks per ounce. I might start dealing saffron, JK. At number two, Atia the Gardener. For those that don't know me, I'm an avid gardener. When I first started gardening, it was a stress reliever for me after work. Atia Gooden teaches people how to grow veggies, Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so excited, it's harvest week. And then she shows you how to cook what you harvested. Salt and pepper the carrots to taste with a little bit of olive oil. She also shares how her garden is coming along. The cabbage is starting to form a beautiful head and the bell peppers are coming in beautifully. And shows how gardens don't just belong in the backyard, they can look great in a front yard too. I love the roses are blooming. Those are knockout roses. And that is a knockout TikTok account. That's why her followers just keep blooming. And third on our TikTok gardeners list, Joe's Garden. Here are a few quick tips to grow the biggest and tastiest tomatoes possible. Joe grows fruits and mysterious vegetables. Did you know you can grow your own bath sponges at home? And here's how. So it turns out some loofahs actually come from this plant that looks like a cucumber. Wow. Once this fibrous interior is completely dried out, this is actually what they sell in the stores as bath sponges. He shares gardening tips, hacks, mind-blowing facts, and we are loving his garden pet pal. Meet Lord Voldetort, known as Ramon. Ramon would have a green thumb if he had a thumb. And those 
We're three TikTok gardeners helping people grow their green thumbs. Lots more to come on the list. Stay with us. This is your place for great lifestyle trends, tips, and helpful hints. It can help calm us, improve our mood. What's new, what's now, and what's next? TheListTV.com. Hey YouTube, Jimmy Rhodes from The List, and I know you're right in the middle of watching, but I just wanted to pop in and remind you to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss one minute of The List. All right, now back to the show. We are back. From the king of the dinosaurs to the king of rock and roll, we are talking huge summer blockbusters. We're checking out June's biggest movies on the hot list. Summer is when Hollywood takes its biggest, flashiest swings with big budget films. Get your popcorn ready because June is going to be a big month for blockbuster movies. Nikki Novak, correspondent at Fandango, is walking us through some of the most anticipated June movies from the recently held CinemaCon in Vegas. Up first, Jurassic World Dominion. It's a totally new ball game. This movie picks up about four years after the last Jurassic World movie. In Jurassic World Dominion, the park is gone and dinosaurs are everywhere. Joining Chris Pratt are the trio from the original Jurassic Park, Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum. I have to warn you, everyone's so excited to have you. You guys are absolute legends around here. Well, we're gonna finally find out who has dominion over the Earth. Is it the dinosaurs or is it the humans? Jurassic World Dominion drops in theaters this Friday. Up next, Lightyear. Ready, Captain Lightyear? Ready as I'll ever be, Commander. This is the latest in the Toy Story franchise. There's a new astronaut superhero in town, and that is going to be voiced in this film by Chris Evans. What? Lightyear revolves around the origin story of Buzz Lightyear. I have a plan and I have a team. Well, this has a lot of the genres that you love rolled into one. It is animated. It is for families. To infinity. Are you trying to get me to pull your finger? Don't fall for it. No, not like that. Ugh, sorry, it's a thing your grandma and I used to do. Yeah. Lightyear is slated to release in cinemas June 17th. And finally, the biographical musical drama, Elvis. Mr. Elvis Presley. This is one of the most highly anticipated musicals of the decade. Calling the movie beautifully done, Lisa Marie Presley has given her seal of approval for the performances and vision of the Golden Globe winning director, Baz Luhrmann. This film is going to explore Elvis's childhood. It's really going to focus, though, on the 50s, 60s, and 70s, his rise to fame, and his very complex relationship between Elvis and his manager. We are two odd, lonely children reaching for eternity. Elvis hits the big screen June 24th. Movies we can't wait to watch on the hot list. Elvis has left the building. Next, we're getting ready for summer with some amazing facts you didn't know about the ocean. That's coming up. It's your life, it's your list. We're celebrating Pride Month. Go to thelisttv.com to learn more. Welcome back. Beach season is here, and bonus, June is National Oceans Month. So we are taking a deep dive for five things you didn't know about the ocean. If you have questions when it comes to the deep blue sea, you are not alone. In fact, we know more about the surface of our moon than we know about the bottom of our ocean. Ashlyn Cousteau, co-author of Oceans for Dummies, shares five things you didn't know about the ocean. Starting with, there is only one ocean. Everybody always talks about our oceans, right? It's our oceans and they have different names. There's the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Arctic, and Antarctic. But really, it's only one ocean, because they do have specific ecosystems in them, but fish don't know boundaries. Next, the ocean is not blue. It's clear. It has no color. Water absorbs light, and it absorbs the longest wavelengths first. Which are the reds and yellows, leaving the shortest wavelengths, blues and greens, for us to see. Third on our list, there is life in the middle of the ocean. The open ocean is so vast, it can feel like a desert, but if you know where to look, you can find so much life. Miles and miles from the shore, giant migratory schools of tuna 
dolphin pods, jellyfish and squid, and sharks can be found. There's millions or billions of species that live in the ocean that we have no idea are there. At number four, melting sea ice isn't raising the sea level. The main cause of sea level rise is climate change because climate change is warming our ocean. And what do things do when they get warmer, especially water? They expand. The confusion comes from the difference between sea ice and glaciers. When those break off and fall into the ocean, boom, there's more water now in the ocean, sea level rises. The final ocean fact, it's deeper than the highest mountain. If you took Mount Everest and put it upside down into the Marianas Trench, it wouldn't even come close to the surface. There would still be over a mile of water above it. Everybody wants to go to Mars and try to find water on Mars, but all we have to do is just go to the coast and look down and there's a whole new world waiting to be discovered. Taking a deep dive with five things you didn't know about the ocean. And one more fun fact, Jimmy Ashlyn, our ocean expert, she's an old friend of mine. Ashlyn Cousteau? Yes. Of the famous Cousteau family? That's right. Wow. A little bit of a family business, I think. Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us and watching The List. Give us a thumbs up if you like the show and make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss one episode of The List. And over here are a couple more videos just for you.